Hey, I'm TJ and welcome to my channel where I'm going to be sharing with you technical insights and coding tutorials to help you on your coding journey. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick JavaScript tutorial by showing you a clip of a tutorial session that I have with one of the students in my Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep program. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video and make sure you comment below along the way if you have any questions or comment below just to let me know if you found this tutorial helpful. All right, this this is my setup right now. Mm -hmm. um, so you see how I define this variable name mm -hmm. inside of this function, right? So the scope of this variable is inside of this function. That means that this variable can only be accessed within these curly braces. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if I define something, so, you know, so you see it like works, right? Right. It works. But if I define it out of here, do you think it'll still work? I think it would still work. It still works because this is global, right? So that means my function has access to stuff defined outside of it as well. Mm -hmm. But if I have another function, where this is defined inside, do you think this is still going to work? No. You sure? Uh, Nah, it's, it's inside them curly brace. Them curly. No, you you are absolutely right. Uh, let me change this to name too, because I think JS Ben has like a name variable. Boom. So you see, it says name two is not defined. Yeah. Reference error name. So you are trying to call name two here, but it is not defined. Even though it's defined, but it's inside the scope. Is, is only defined inside of this function. Mm. So the like difference between let and bar is that, well, there, there's, there's like a couple of differences. Let is scope to the block, which is this curly braces here. Yeah. Bar is scope to the function. Mm. All right. But just so basically in terms of scope, scope just describes where you have access to something. So I'm trying to call name two, but name two is not within this scope at all. It's not inside of this local. Yeah. The local scope is where I'm currently at. So yeah. name two is inside of this function. Say hi. So the local scope is everything inside of the say hi function. Got you. Right. Global scope is when we had this. When we had this, where it was like, you see, th this variable is defined outside of my function, but it it like isn't inside anything else. It's just okay. designed, it's just defined out there in the open. You can grab it. it, it exactly. So that means that you know mm -hmm. this function has access to things defined globally. That's why this now works. Okay. So typically, anytime that you're creating like a function, just always try to define the information you need inside of the curly braces mm -hmm. so that you're not grabbing random data. Because you see how we like did name before? <laughs> We we did name before. Yeah. Oh, crap. Sorry. Let me delete that. You see how I put name? I, I don't have a variable name called name defined anywhere here, right? Right. But if I hit run, it returns JS bin output. Ah, uh, because they got a name. So it's exactly. global. Exactly. So uh, that variable is defined outside of my function. So my function is now grabbing that. Oh man, that's okay. All yeah, right. So it's like, do, do you see how scope is like messing with things? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm seeing. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm, now that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So me doing this, I am literally reassigning this name variable to have another value. Okay. Because the initial value is this out here. Because JSMIN already has a variable called name somewhere. They define it and it's equal to, to this. Okay. Because if I do, here, let me just console log name. And I hit run. Boom. Oh, yeah, let's see. The, okay. I was like, man, I got real lucky with this uh, example. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that. You know, I don't see it on here. So, you know, it didn't cross my mind that they would have something like that. Hey, man, that is that is a good example right there. Like, that example, like, hit a, like, that was, that's a good way to really even like, explain it to somebody. Like, hey, <laughs> you see this? Okay, I didn't good. put this there. 